Yes. It does. It does. <laughs> Davion takes precedent over your opinion. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, totally understand that. Totally understand uh, that. We'll be joined by uh, Domas in a little bit, but right now we're joined by our friend Davion Mitchell. Uh, I had Davion on the show last year when I was a solo host. Davion, you're with Cattles and Rami here at Sacktown Sports. Good to meet you, Matt. And the uh, the first thing I would the first thing I want to ask you is the off season. What would you do during the off season? What'd you work on? Uh, I did a lot, man. I think uh, I did a lot of traveling. Um, I definitely doing a lot of work in the museum, uh, working on a lot of coaching machines. Uh, kind of being that person off, off the wall this season. So is that is that your main focus, being that off that off ball guard doing and, and working on your catch and shoot then? Yeah, for sure. I mean, especially because you got a lot of key pieces in our team who can handle the ball, so you kinda want to still be on the floor or be comfortable on the floor, um, kinda just be that, that spacer. Um, I mean, but also just working things off on the ball too. I'm still working on that, but the main focus is kinda just being off the ball catching shoot. Davion Mitchell with us. Davion, of course, last year. You had the three guards, right? You had the Aaron, you had Hallie, you had yourself, Halliburton was traded. How, how much did that help kind of open up your game when Hallie was out? Just because you, you had more minutes at the position that you, you're used to playing. Yeah, uh, you definitely get more more opportunity. Uh, have the ball in your hands a little bit more. Uh, coming off the ball, she was making those reads. I mean, Hallie kind of taught me a little bit about that. And also being a leader on the floor. Things like that. Uh, yeah. We were talking the other day about the fact that this this is really Monty McNair's team. Just three guys that weren't either signed, traded for, or drafted by mine. You're obviously – one of his guys at the trade deadline last year, when when the roster started to transform, and we saw that continue in the off season. Did you feel a a palpable change in in the team and the vibe and and the way things felt around here? Yeah, for sure. I mean, especially I mean after the day that Tyrese got traded, you know, everyone was kind of hurt from that. And I remember just playing the game that day and then playing the Timberwolves, and I, and I was kind of hurt from it. I mean, just because he was one of the best friends of my team, sure. but. But Monty, I think, made a really great decision uh, in, in both both decisions. I mean, Tyrese is really good over there in Indiana. He's kind of been that main guard in that first year. But down here with Domas, he's really good. He can play off the ball. He can really both a leader and things like that. He can pass. So I think Monty is the right decision. Davion Mitchell with us here on Cattles and Romney, Sack Town Sports. You know, it, it was kind of unfortunate last year, right, because you felt like Domas and Fox were learning how to play alongside each other. Then they had some injury issues. When you look at those two guys, what do you think the ceiling is of, of them as, as your teammates and, and how you can play together and offer them? I think that, I mean, the sky's the limit for, for both of them. I mean, because they both, I mean, especially with Fox and his ability to finish, um, people are going to be kind of afraid with that, so they're going to kind of help. So I kind of just, you know, like I said, being that space on the floor in the Doma, I mean, he's a, a talent where he can pass the ball better than like, a, a lot of people can shoot him. And, and he's also for the ball, I and mean, he's also been working on his shooting. So I think it's going to make it make it a lot a lot harder, especially them two in the ball team. The playoff drought is on Kings fans' minds. There's there's no way around that, Davion. Is that something that's on your guys' minds, or is it just come out and prepare every day? Yeah, I mean, we, I mean, like you said, uh, it's kind of been on everyone's mind. Uh, that's the thing in Sacramento. But, I mean, we just try to go out there and be the hardest team to play every day. Um, and just, just, I think the main thing is we're going to play defense. I think this year we're going to come in a diff- defensive-minded team, and I think that's going to win us a lot more games. Davion Mitchell was us. Davion, of course, you started with Luke Walton. And then last year, Coach Gentry took over. Now it's Coach Mike Brown. How do you feel about Coach Brown, and, and what have you learned from him so far? And kind of how do you see him handling this basketball team this year? And what should we expect from a Mike Brown coach team? Um, I just like I said before, being the hardest playing team out there. I think that he's going to emphasize that in training camp. Um, being a defensive minded team, seeing how detailed he is, um, just talking with him, having conversations with him. I think that he's going to. The change the culture of the team. Like you said, he's a big culture guy, and I think that's one thing we need. We in the media and as basketball fans, I'm sure before you got to the league, you were a basketball fan. You did this too. We sit here and we try and figure out, all right, what's what's the lineup? Who's the starting five? Is that something that's been communicated to you guys yet, or is it still fluid as far as who's who's where and what what everybody's role is? Yeah, I mean, we we really don't know. Uh, I mean. We kind of know the, the obvious roles, but you really sure. don't know. Um, going in, I think everyone just, just try to go in and take it day by day and just play hard. And whatever your team needs you to do, that's what you're going to do. As the offseason rolled along and you see the additions, right, you see Malik Monk, you see the Kevin Herter trade, you see Keegan Murray getting drafted. As you're watching the pieces come together, how much sense did it make to you? Hey, we're going to bring in some guys who can catch and shoot and play off of Fox right. and Doma. Yeah, I mean, it made a lot of sense. A lot of sense. I mean, because even last year, it kind of was, wasn't really a lot of catch and shoot guys on our team. We had a lot of guys who could play on the ball. 
I think this year uh, we have a taste of it. Last year, I mean, seeing that, man, man, we need to get the two guys to space the floor. Um, also, we can play defense. Also, they're really good defense. And I think the league is having a really good defense. Uh, they're going to be really good defense on our team. And then we keep it. A guy who's confident, uh, who can versatility, he can shoot the mirror, right. he can shoot the three. Um, so I think it makes a lot more sense. Folks are going to hear this tomorrow. We had a chance to, to talk with Keegan Murray. And you, I mean, when you see him on TV, you pick up on this. But when you're talking to him, he seems years and years ahead of where he should be in terms of his maturity level. It's, is that, do you guys pick that up too? Or is that just something that's sort of overstated by us in the media? No, nah, we definitely pick it up. I mean, he's definitely, I think he's, uh, he's, he's definitely a professional. He's been coming in the first year. You can just call him a professional. He's kind of going to do things the right way. I mean, he doesn't speak much, but he's going to get that out of him. Last one from me, because I know you got a bunch of other stuff to do, Davion. We appreciate your time. But you're known as a defensive guy. Now, I, I think some of that, I talked to you last year. After you, I forgot who you, you caught a body, and we laughed about it. You killed somebody last year. I just, I'm trying to remember who. I mean, you just you murdered somebody, unfortunately, on the court. The homicide. It was homicide. It was, uh, I, I felt bad. I don't, I don't know if you felt bad afterwards. But, but, you know, everybody talks about your defensive ability. And, and watching you, I keep telling people, like, the mechanics are there shooting wise, off the dribble, catch and shoot. I think you're you're much better offensively, ceiling wise, than people, you know, realize because they kind of fit you in one box, which is the wrong thing to do. How do you feel like your game's coming along? And and how do you feel how you're gonna work off of Fox and, and Domas and you know, other guys like Malik talked about his playmaking ability. You feel like you've taken steps over the last several months to kind of get to a, to a higher level shooting the basketball for yourself. Yeah, I think I think uh, last year then the team kind of played a big part of my game, just learning, um, kind of getting that guard out there, just to, to not just make, just to make mistakes, but just to learn from it. Um, throughout the season, I made a lot of mistakes, which was the end of the year, I started getting better, so I feel comfortable um, being who I am, um, I can shoot. I mean, it just, you got a confidence that you got to there and know that you can shoot the ball. And I that's my word. What's Davion Mitchell doing when he's not hooping? <laughs> I mean, other than watching basketball, I'm playing video games. <laughs> Madden? So what, what's your game? Uh, Call of Duty. Oh, there Call of Duty. Okay. There you go. All right. Let's shoot him up. Bang, bang game going on there. All right. His name is, uh, his name is Davion Mitchell. Wow. Davion, I love talking to you last year. I love the conversation today, man. Hopefully, we'll catch up with you soon. And uh, just stay healthy. And uh, I think everything else will fall into place. Thank you. Thank you, John. Appreciate it, Davion. Appreciate you. There goes uh, Davion Mitchell uh, from here at uh, Sacktown Sports. It's full day at Kings Media Day. Uh, we'll take a quick okay, yep. break okay, right we'll back within like yeah. 90 seconds. And uh, you will hear in 90 seconds, you will hear from Domas. Okay.